Hey man, we we uh just booked two cheat loads though. Oh yeah, we did, didn't we? <laughs> we just hope we're gonna tell them. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? Welcome back to the channel. We still trucking in Jays. I'm Devin. Got a pretty eventful day. I got a um, I'm gonna pick up two loads from Fountain Inn. Both of them going to Florida. Um, for those of y'all that are new to the channel, we got two straight trucks. A week and two drivers, myself and my brother. My brother still works on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Today is Friday, so I'm, I'm by myself today, but no big deal. So what I'm doing is I'm going to Fountain Inn. I'm gonna pick up uh, Nick's load. I'm, I'm actually in Old Betsy right now, which is Nick's truck. I'm gonna pick up his load that he has to deliver Monday morning at 8 to Wildwood, Florida. So I'm gonna pick that up, taking it back to the house, to the storage, and dropping his truck off, and then getting to my truck and going back to Fountain Inn. And I'm picking up my load that goes to Plantation, Florida. On, on Monday as well at 8 a.m. So we got two loads of the same broker, of course, same shipper, Landstar that we always uh, that we always deal with. So um, we're gonna go into the numbers a little bit later on in the video once I uh, hook up with Nick. And we'll go over the numbers for you. But I hope y'all take this as motivation, man, and not as us bragging. We just want to kind of let you know what's available, what kind of rates you can be getting. It's all it's all friendly competition. You know, if you get better rates than what we get. Let us know. You know that'll motivate us to, to try to get even better rates than what we get, if it's possible. If, if we getting it, you can get it. If you getting it, we can get it. So that's how that's how we think about it, man. It's, it's no bragging. All friendly competition for all of us to strive to be, you know, as as great as we can out here and get as much money and, and just make our businesses as profitable as possible. That's all it's about. But we're going to the numbers once I uh, hook up with Nick um, on on Monday. I just want to let y'all know what I'm doing. I'm headed to pick up the first load, and I'll keep you updated from there. All right, y'all, so I just picked up a neat load that's going to Florida, to Wildwood, Florida. I'm on Monday, it's 456 miles. It only took them an hour to get me loaded. Um, I'll show you what we got on the truck. Once I pick up both loads, I'll show you, you know, what both trucks have on it. But yep, so I'm headed back to the storage to pick up my truck, and then I'm gonna go back to Fountain Inn. Should be a quick and easy day. Just want to ask y'all a question real quick. When you got a load that's kind of overlapping and going into the next week, but doesn't deliver into the next week, like this one, picking up both of these loads on a Friday and then delivering on Monday, when you count how much money you made for the week, the load, do you count the load that when it's picked up as towards that week? Or will you count towards next week? That's what we, I mean, I know in the, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter because it's all, you know, our money. But if you want to try to break it down weekly, I used to say, let's count it for the week that we pick it up. But I mean, I can see why it makes sense to count it in the week that it drop off just in case something happened and you don't, you know, it's not a clean BOL, something missing and, and you know, you're late or you can't deliver it for any reason. So I can understand that too. But I like to go ahead and count it when we pick it up. So just comment down below on what y'all do or what you think about um, how you count. Just, just to see what everybody else is doing. All right, so I made it back to the storage. About to drop old Betsy off, jump in Big Bertha real quick. Go ahead and pick this other load back up. So one load down, one to go. Let me make sure I get all my stuff out of here. Nick be crying if he leaves some stuff in his truck. He don't, he don't really like nobody driving his truck, but I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I get all my stuff, man. I've been sitting right here for about, about 30 minutes at least now. I don't know when I'm gonna get home. I was gonna show y'all the, the back of both trucks, but by the time I get to the to the spot, it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be dark, man. But anyway, my load, I picked it up, I'm on the way back from Fountain Inn now. Um, 667 miles going to Plantation, Florida. Um, 8 a.m. delivery on on Monday. So I'm gonna leave um, probably Sunday morning. I already got my room, um, staying at a Holiday Inn, and right outside of Fort Lauderdale. So 
I'll pick back up with y'all then and, and we'll hook up with Nick and we'll go over the rates for this for this trip. I'll let y'all on Monday. Real quick, I finally made it back home. I'm about to show y'all what we what we got on the truck taking to Florida. Comment down below, tell Nick he need to wash his truck. This is all Nick got. Yep, do you see that he ain't got but a few pieces? I do have a truck full. I say that, but I ain't gonna even let y'all. Uh, ain't gonna let y'all see mine, especially not the tires. Man, I can't. I can't be full to the. I shouldn't even did this anyway. I try to get you something else later on, but that's where we at with it right now. Finally made it back. Catch up with y'all in Florida for real this time. Good morning. It's currently Sunday morning. I'm getting ready to I'm gonna get some diesel and then head down to towards Plantation, Florida. Where I'm staying is actually at a uh, Holiday Inn Express in um, Davie, Florida. Um, it's about 15 minutes away from where I'll be dropping off um, Monday morning at 8 a.m. It's gonna take to say I'll be there about 5:30. It's currently 8:45. Yep, 8.45, so I got 8 hours and 43 minutes for me to get there. Uh, before I get there, I know I'm gonna have to stop and do a 30 minute break. So at that time, I probably find a, a truck stop so I can go ahead and um, get some diesel and get some, some def, because I am a little over a quarter of a tank. So by that time, I'm sure I'll need def as well. That's the only thing about um, need def, because of course, anytime you go to a truck stop, the fuel is gonna be higher. So I may even find a, a I may just go to the truck stop and get some get some def and then go ahead and, and find a different gas station to get some some diesel but then again that take more time so I don't know it just depends on how much more it is because um, I know I just passed the gas station that I'm gonna diesel up at it's, it's five dollars and ten cents a gallon right now so I'm going to do that man I'm gonna head on down and check in with y'all in a few minutes. drop in the morning um, I paid 160 for for this room for one night let me show you what I got it's the bathroom of course got a little wet bar I think they call that over here got my king bed of course TV But let me show you this. I'm talking about unnecessary. Got a whole nother king suite over here. A whole nother wet bar. Whole nother bathroom. Oh well, they. It was the same the same price, so she switched me over to this one. I guess they either booked my room for someone else or whatever, or something. I don't I don't know what happened, but she said this was the only king suite they had available, and it's a, a double king suite. So I didn't pay nothing extra, but whatever. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and wind down, get some rest. And I'll pick it pick back up in the morning. Peace. Good morning. What? <clears throat> Good morning. It's now Friday morning. Getting ready to head over to Plantation, Florida. It's 4.4 miles away. It says it'll take me about 11 minutes to get there. 
I'm gonna go ahead and drop off this load at a Smoothie King. Um, they are closed right now because of course they're remodeling and um, I probably won't be able to get much footage because I, I usually help unload if I, uh, you know, if I can just to get it off the truck as quick as possible so I can go ahead and either um, look to find another load or more than likely I'm probably gonna meet up with Nick in Jacksonville, Florida and then we'll um, see what kind of Amazon loads we can get. We're gonna kind of see what the prices are, see if it's decent enough for us to use that as a, um, as a backhaul you know, to get back to the house. That's what we normally do, but the rates have been real cheap lately. So we, I might try to find another load first before I leave this area, but, but I always have that Amazon as a, as a backup. But I'll holler at y'all once I get the Smoothie King. All right, y'all, so I just made it to my destination here in Plantation, Florida, at this Smoothie King right over here. I don't see nobody working yet, but I'm gonna go see if I can walk around the building, see if I see somebody so I can go ahead and get unloaded. Then I'm gonna go ahead and meet up with Nick. See what he got. See what he got going on today in Jacksonville. Made it to the hotel here in Jacksonville. We're staying at a uh, Crown Plaza. Hey, man, look. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look what I caught up with, man. You know what I mean? We in the. Where we at? Crown Plaza. Yeah, there we go. Crown Plaza in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. So yep. I just drove down from uh, Plantation, Florida. Well, up from Plantation, Florida. Nick was in. Let me get my. Where you at? That. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry about that. But um, where you was at? Wildwood, Florida. Wildwood. Yeah, so two, two and a half hours. Yeah, Crown Plaza real quick. We go, um, both of us. All right, man. So I told him that we was gonna wait. I was gonna wait and give him the numbers until we until I caught up with sit you. Sit down, so. yeah. Sit down for a second. Just sit down for a second. And I'm having a hard time finding. It. Today, well, Nick trying to find his. Let me go ahead and get you my. Do your math on yours, boy. All right, so, so for my load from Fountain Inn to Plantation, Florida, it was six hundred and sixty-seven miles, twenty-four hundred dollars. So if you do the math on that, that's um, three fifty-nine a mile, you know, to come down to Plantation, Florida. So. That was what mine was. What you got? Still look. It's oh, here we go. Yeah, okay. Uh, I did 456 miles. So Nick was 456 miles from yeah. Fountain Inn, South Carolina to Wildwood, Florida. And paid me 1500 to do that. So that's $3.28 a mile. Yep. Pretty good. Yep. So that's what we got paid. Once again, we ain't bragging. It's all motivation. Yeah, please don't take it that way. I want y'all to, you know, show me what y'all getting. Uh, tell me under the, the comments. And then, if y'all getting better, let me know. Because, I, you know, we ask for more. I ain't scared. <laughs> you know what I mean? Y'all come with four or five dollars. Like, hey, I know people that's getting it. Hey, you don't have to come up on that rate. Yeah, so. Come up on that rate. Yeah, man. So you, so you know it's possible to get these type of rates. So, you know, go ahead and strive and get the best. And, yeah, ask for it. All they can do is tell you yeah and they. Yeah, and it's uh, all friendly competition, man. Now. Now what? Hey man, we we uh just booked two cheap loads though. Oh yeah, we did, didn't we? <laughs> we so we gonna tell them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man, so we are here in Jacksonville. Of course, it's uh Jax Nine. Well, let me put that up real quick. Hold on. And well, I got it right here. Them cheap cheap joints. We, yeah man, we out here taking cheap freight, man. Wait, you tell me yours first. <laughs> so, so mine, uh, picking up at, uh, oh, it's Jax 5, my bad, not Jax 9, Jax 5, going to, you know, uh, three stops. The last one's in Monk's Corner. How many miles? Uh, 298.9 miles. Mm -hmm. $600. So that's 201. 
two or one of mine, man. I might have cheap freight. Cheap freight. <laughs> hey, well, we getting back on though. Yeah. And mine is um going from Jake's Five to Mount Pleasant. One stop, two hundred and forty six miles. Is paying a uh, total of five seventy nine eighty nine, and that's two dollars and thirty five cent a mile. So hey. We, <laughs> hey, sometimes you, I see what you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Just call us cheap freight, man. Cheap freight, man. Like, in what, I mean, which is not bad numbers. And of course, it, it works for us in this case because we are, that's going towards home. So instead of us dead heading back and the hours, you know, the, the yeah. time that it is, we're able to take our uh, 10 hour reset mm -hmm. and then go ahead and, um, you know, take that load to the house, you know, and go to the house and then still have time to pick up something yeah. else, which both of us got something to pick up tomorrow. Got something to pick up. I'm picking mine up in the morning. I'm going to go straight. Yeah, pick mine up too, then go home. Okay, so I'm yeah, up, uh, both of us. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what's, what's the best route. Yeah, so we, we just got that one with the other broker, my cousin. Mm -hmm. And the other load that I got is with the Landstar broker that we always use. And it's picking up in Fountain Inn, of course, and it's going to Alliston. Alabama, four fifty a mile. I wasn't gonna say that part, but four fifty a mile. Yeah, real good. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I got to go get that. But um, well, what mine is uh, pick up in Spartanburg, going to Lewisburg, Lewisburg, Tennessee. That's right by Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, I said three fifty six. I think it's like I think it's a little over three dollars a mile. So I think it's a three eighteen. 318 amount. Yeah, so it's yeah, total is uh, 1250. Yeah, I do it. Yeah, so that ain't nothing. So just to kind of recap, I picked up these loads on Friday for us to deliver Monday morning at eight. Yeah, appreciate you, boy. Yeah, you all right? You, you do, know, boy. You, you do a little work with it, boy. <laughs> Give us some food. Yeah, it'll work for you. <laughs> <laughs> it'll work. I'll do what I can do, man. So, so I'm break my mind first because I like my mind sound better. So, okay, go ahead. <laughs> so I got. Twenty four hundred for my first again? boat. Yeah, twenty four hundred. Twenty four hundred. And then six hundred. Six hundred. And then tomorrow I'm picking up eleven hundred. Okay. Me. I did fifteen hundred. Then dang, I don't know, five, five eighty five. Five seventy eight. Five hundred. something like that. Yeah. Five let's say five eighty. And then twelve fifty. And that's gonna be and those are dropping off Wednesday, so we still got Thursday, Friday. Friday. Well, I got, I got Thursday. Thursday. I got Thursday, Friday. I got Thursday, then I, I gotta be back home. Yep. But all right, man. That's uh, hold on. Before you end it, before you end, it, what time is it? It's four or eight. Nah, this dude think he gonna keep me up. Cause we gotta leave. We gotta leave here by at least twelve, twelve ten, twelve twenty, to make sure we make our Amazon run on time. Look at him. He all wide awake. Look at him. <laughs> I, I really ain't. I, uh, I well, you got rest last night. I didn't. Barely. I've been driving since 12. Something like that. So, um, that's it, man. You got anything you want to say? Like, comment, subscribe. We're going to show them Amazon run. Or, I mean, we told y'all what it is. I mean, I guess we can kind of. Yeah. Well, we, we're so, so picking, you know, we're picking up. we pick it up and then that'd be it, it for this video. Cool. All right, man. All right, holla. Oh, real quick, man, I forgot to tell y'all, with this load that I'm doing, that's dropping off in Monk's Corner, the uh, three stops from Amazon, what really make it bad is that I know this load paid more in the, in the past because I used to do it last year, um, you know, to get back home from Jacksonville or Florida, depending on where I was, and I know I got $3 a mile, or close to $3 a mile for it before, so. You can just see that they they cutting it down a whole dollar per mile, and we had to wait for it to go up to get that. So, I'll tell them about them loads that we get our early access loads from CAE One. Oh, don't book them! <laughs> don't don't book them cheap. They cheap. They been real cheap. Y'all let them all uh, loads mature. Let them sit on they. If we all just like get together and don't book them. They ain't gonna do that, man. Y'all gonna take yeah, that yeah. cheap freight, man. So can't beat them. You gotta join, join them. So we, we doing that tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we would try to wait for these to go up, but we really need to get back home so we can go ahead yeah. and get, do what we gotta do. So, but yeah, them CAE one, the early access, man. 
I think if you pay them a hundred, you can get the load. You pay Amazon a hundred dollars, then you can run the load for them. Yeah, That's <laughs> pretty much. But man, think about it. I think it's like two, two sixty something. That's only like eighty dollars more than the cancellation fee. I hope they cancel it. If I was to book something like that, you'd be better off them canceling yeah. it. You get your one seventy five and you go back to the house instead. Of that. All right, man, we're getting ready to head to uh, Jack's Five. Go ahead and pick these loads up. I'm going to Monk's Corner is my last stop. And I got only one stop going to Mount Pleasant. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're going to end the video here. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next video. Peace. Peace.